Hi guys, as a small YouTuber, I was quite surprised to see that there were actually people waiting for an update of my hair transplant journey. So therefore, I just wanted to make this quicker update for you guys. Uh, now, I'm going to show you in a second a closer look on my hairline. But first, I just want to mention that this is not the end result. You will see it in one year time. Basically, now my hair is just falling off, which is a normal process. Afterwards, it will grow back stronger and better than ever, which is a good thing. Okay, I will not let you wait any longer, so here you have my update four months later. And now the back. As you can see, it becomes harder to recognize the difference between the natural hair and the implanted hair. Also, at the moment, I still wash my hair with sensitive shampoo, aka baby shampoo, without any alcohol or paraben inside of the shampoo. Also, in the description down below, you will find a link for sensitive shampoo that you can buy that ships almost everywhere in the world. It's not this one. I found one that was even better. Also, I started to have dandruff on my hair because I was using baby shampoo for four months. So I started back again to use my regular shampoo on the backside of my head and here on the top and just here on the planted area I used the sensitive baby shampoo. Also, I wanted to tell you some other exciting news that may interest you. I went to the hairdresser for the first time after my hair transplant. Of course, I informed him about my surgery and he didn't cut the implanted hair, only the sides. As you can see on the end of my implanted hair, there is a little dot. Compared to my regular hair, those dots date from the day of the surgery. It will be completely gone once you cut it off. But really, people don't see that. Only you. I also want to quickly respond to the most frequently asked question. Well, do you use minoxidil or finasteride? Well, the answer is yes and no. I do use minoxidil, but not finasteride. I heard that there are a lot of side effects that can happen with your manlyhood. I just don't want to risk having those side effects. So I'm just sticking with minoxidil. However, my next video will be about my unpleasant experience I had with minoxidil. Now perhaps other people will relate to what happened, otherwise it could be a warning video about what could potentially happen if you use minoxidil. Thank you for watching this video, now I made this video in another different style that I'm usually making videos. I'm at my grandmother's house in Portugal. That's the decoration for today's video. So thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, put it on Thumbs up, leave a like and a comment down below. And I thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.